eight leaders of the Text Later Drive Now campaign meet once or twice weekly. We plan our upcoming events and different ways to raise awareness. We discussed merchandise and social media. As a team, we were able to do things swiftly and with compromise. We also created a separate club in our school to go along with our campaign team. Members of our Text Later Drive Now club made posters and hung them around the school and the community. <laughs> Not only do we reach out to a large majority of our school, but also the community. We did so by holding an event at a local hotspot called Rock Hill. We brought in over 250 people from our school and our community to the event, where we handed out wristbands with the Texlater Drive Now logo printed on them. Um, today, Rock Hill is offering us 15% of its purchase. Um, we're really excited to be continuing this campaign for a second year. Will you try not to text and drive? Yes, I will love you. I will not try to text and drive. Do you think it's a why do you think it's important? And what example can you set for your children? I think it's important because you need to be aware of your surroundings and a second change change everything. Um, your life, other people's lives. Why do you think it's important to avoid texting while driving? Uh, well, texting is just a huge distraction to um, whoever's driving and it provides a hazard of people in your car and yourself, but also the people around you. Uh, do many of your friends text while driving? Um, yeah, I feel like a lot of my friends take texting and driving very lightly, but uh, they don't understand the uh, real consequences of it. We had a very successful event for our entire sophomore and freshman class outdoors on the track. Each gym teacher brought their classes outside for the students to participate in the event. Each lane of the track was sweat up as if it were a lane in the road. There were inflatable slow signs along with stop signs and pedestrian crossing signs. There were four flat scooters set up where four students began the event after they filled out a Cherry Hill High School East driver's license with their name and grade. When they started the event, they were asked to act as if they were texting, and they would be penalized with a hole punch in their license. They could be penalized for going outside of their lanes, passing a red light without stopping for a total of three seconds, not slowing down, and finally hitting a pedestrian, which was represented by foam balls. Text. Through these events and many other meetings with our entire club, we've made reaching out to the community a great success. You don't really realize how many distractions that you have to pay attention to while you're driving and like texting just makes it ten times harder. And like, if you're not looking at the road, like you just won't be able to see those distractions. As you see, it gets really dangerous out there and there's a lot of things that can cause issues and lives matter. So you can't text while you drive, so it makes it so much easier to get in trouble and actually get hurt. So I learned a lot from this course. I think as a pedestrian, I learned that um, the drivers aren't really paying attention when they text on their phones or go on Instagram or whatnot. So yeah, I mean, they're really distracted. I think. I think it's very important to never text and drive because I hit somebody, I killed someone, and I'm sorry, but 
Don't text and drive. Obviously, <laughs> texting and driving is terrible because, like, you get into car crashes a lot, and it's a distraction. You can't get distracted while you're driving. Also, it's illegal, so <laughs> let's just say. Don't do it. It's very helpful because now I know the dangers of texting and driving. I got three hole punches and I actually like hit a couple of pedestrians. What did so you think of the right. event? So I got uh, tickets I didn't deserve, but I did hit a couple pedestrians and I don't feel great about that. So I think it's a good. Uh, I think it's good. I learned that texting and driving is it's not really hard, good. <laughs> and it's really hard to be able to pay attention to all of them. What are the dangers? So in order to get our word out to the public, we used a lot of social media, newspapers, and videos. For social media, we created a Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, and a Vine account. We posted from all accounts several times. We used the social media accounts for publicity for our events and we did a bi-weekly fact about the dangers of texting and driving and what they lead to. In addition, we used these social media sites to attract people to help us with our campaign. An article was written and published in our school's award-winning newspaper. The article allowed people to hear about our club and learn some facts about texting and driving. The school newspaper, Eastside, is distributed to all faculty, staff, and students at East. Our article was also put on Eastside Online. To measure our growth as a team, we have used the Facebook views and likes to see how many people we have reached out to. A specific program on Facebook shows charts and graphs to show growth over a month at a time. A simpler way to show this is through followers on both Instagram and Twitter. Find followers have also been a valid way of showing how far we've come in means of who we've reached out to. As a more indefinite way of showing our growth, we have noticed some people approaching the team leaders to get involved. The overall interest of people outside of the club has increased drastically between the very start of our campaign to now. By introducing guest speakers and reaching out to our community, we have had high hopes along with high success. The police force wanted to do as much as possible to help us, so they hung a couple of flyers at the Terry Hill Police Station and came down to our school to give a demonstration on the dangers of distracted driving. At the Rock Hill event mentioned earlier, we had a speaker come and talk about the loss of a brother due to someone who was a distracted driver. We have also had six guest speakers come to speak to the senior and sophomore health classes. Using our events, we made people understand the dangers of distracted driving. Having guest speakers made the students get a true, deep understanding of the devastation that can be caused by doing something as minor as quickly checking your cell phone. The goal we would like to reach by this upcoming June is not a specific number, but we have been working to get the message across. Ultimately, our goal is to make people aware of the dangers of texting and driving, especially in our community.